Chris Hinkle with CR Sotheby's International Realty here in the beautiful Tahoe Trekkie area. Today I wanted to talk with you about interest rates and more specifically the temporary buy down, which means that you can lower your interest rate for a specific period of time. Now a temporary buy down can help you get into a home more affordably now with a reduced rate for one to three years. So how this works is you buy down the interest rate with points. Now one point is 1% of the purchase price. And this can be paid for by either yourself or by the seller. It can be negotiated into the offer. So the seller is paying uh, the interest rate buy down or it could be paid by the lender. It's all negotiable. Now why you would do this is so you would have reduced monthly payments for a more affordable monthly payment for a specific amount of time. You would have a predictable monthly payment that would increase based on the specifics of the buy down and you, there is no balloon payment. You can do a one, two or three year buy down. Now let's get into some specifics on how this works. So on a one year buy down, if you have decent credit and interest rates right now are in the higher 7%, so let's say they're 7.99%. If you're in that scenario and you put 20% down on your property, the first year, instead of your interest rate being 7.99%, it would be 6.99% for that one year period. Now at the end of that one year period, your interest rate would go back up to the original 7.99%. You, It's not just an adjustable rate where you don't know where it's gonna be depending on what interest rates are doing. You would actually know that for the first year, your interest rate is gonna remain 1% less than the original rate, and then the next year it goes back up to the original rate. If you do a two-year one-to-one buy-down, that first year your rate is 1% less than the original rate, that second year, your rate is the same. It's still 1% less than the original rate. And then on the third year, your interest rate would go up. If you do a two year, two to one buy down, the first rate, the first year, your rate would be 2% less than the original rate. The second year, it would be 1% less than the original rate. And the third year, it would go back up to that same rate that we have as 7.99 right now. Now, if you do a three year, three to one buy down, that first year your rate is 3% less than the original rate. The second year it's 2% less than the original rate. The third year it's 1% less than the original rate. And every year after that, it would be that original rate of today's rate is say around 7.99%. So on the one year buy down, remember it costs one point. On a two year buy down, it costs two points. And on the three year buy down, it would cost three points. Each of those being one point is 1% of the purchase price of the property. And you can negotiate that into the sales price of the property, or you could pay it yourself. But right now it is actually a bit of a buyer's market. So instead of asking a seller for um, a reduction in the price, they might be more likely to offer you this buy down because they know that if, if they're gonna get a sale out of it, you might be the winner of it. I'm going to get into some specifics now on a particular scenario. So say if your home cost you $750,000 and the interest rate was originally going to be 7.99%. So if you do a one year buy down, that 7.99 7, 7 rate will drop to 6.99 for that first year. So your monthly payment, instead of being $4,398 a month, is going to be reduced to $3,987 a month for that first year. After that first year, it goes back up to the 7.99 interest rate at $4,398 a month. So it actually makes it more affordable for that first year of ownership. So if you do a two year one-to-one -one buy down, that's gonna cost you 2% of the purchase price. But the first year of your property ownership, you're gonna be paying 2% less than the original interest rate. So your interest rate will be 5.99%, making that monthly payment on the $750,000 house with the $600,000 loan, making that monthly payment rate uh, of $3,597. Year two, your rate is gonna be at 6.99% with your monthly loan payment of $3,987.
year three, your payment will be back up to the original interest rate of 7.99%, making that int making that monthly payment $4,398. So from the 5.99% interest rate to the 7.99 interest rate, there's about an $800 a month difference. In my notes below, I'm gonna do another scenario of a purchase price of 1.5 million. So your loan would be 1.2 million if you have 20% down. Now on that scenario, uh, in the jumbo loan, they'll only let you do a temporary buy down if it is a primary residence. These monthly payments that I'm talking about are not including property taxes or home insurance. Now, property taxes in the Tahoe Truckee area are generally around 1.2%, and home insurance on a $750,000 home can vary quite a bit just depending on the neighborhood that it's in and if you need the California Fair Plan or if you can actually get conventional insurance on it, but you should count in anywhere between $100 and $400 a month for insurance. Temporary buy-downs are available for a second home or a primary residence as long as you aren't getting a jumbo loan. Now in the Truckee area, a jumbo loan means that the loan is over $726,200. The other counties are around the same, but if you're getting a jumbo loan, the home has to be your primary residence. It can't be a second home. I'm not a lender, but being a realtor, I do like to know about the programs available to my clients. So I've talked with our local lenders and they've shared this information with me and I would be happy to connect you with them if you're a buyer. I just like to know the tools and the, the options that are available for my buyers if they, if they are able to possibly use this program and get into a home for the first time because this program can lower your interest rate and make it much more affordable and then don't forget with if interest rates drop when they drop you'll be able to refinance so this could really help somebody out just to get into a home and it might all be uh, at no cost to a buyer you buy, might be able to negotiate it into the sales price and the purchase of a property if you have any questions on this topic or any other real estate questions feel free to give me a call i've lived here almost 50 years, been in the real estate industry and building for a long time. My name is Chris Hinkle. You can reach me at 530-412-2644. I look forward to hearing from you.